Hello, 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 welcome back, welcome back to your friendly neighbor noob, of course I'm friendly, we're back with another series, we're here with Final Fantasy Online going from level 1 to level 60, now unfortunately this series was originally uploaded ages ago but it got corrupted so we had to re-upload it, I hope you enjoy just as much as I enjoyed making it, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends, don't forget to eat spaghetti, as all of that really helps me out with the algorithm algorithm and really it really helps out the channel of course but <laughs> anyway let's get right into it let's go well hello again mr buscaron mr buscaron Bus -bus buscarin i don't know something like that oh i i i didn't realize i was clicking through i'm just like <laughs> i'm like half asleep uh you've done gridania a great service this day oh you've done a great service a great service today lad and earned yourself a place of honor in the others okay oh Cool, uh, cotton robes. I guess we have cotton robes. Wait, they had this later cool piece of armor I didn't even look at. Oh, uh, god damn it. You know what? You know what? I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know what? I is dumb. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, the sugar flower hat. Cotton sugar flower hat. Ugh. I don't want the cotton sugar flower hat. Looks hideous. Okay, so where's the robes? Where are the robes? No, 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 no. I wish they would put them in order. Oh, okay. Well, I guess now I can put the hat on. Oh, no, the hat gets taken away. So it's actually not that big of an increase then, is it? Because if you think about it, like, where is, 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 where is? I'm going to take this off. Uh, so that's 37. That's 29. 24. 31. So this is the one I was wearing? No, that's 31. Jeez, okay, then there must be something higher than 31. 31... No, that's actually the highest one. How was I not wearing that before? I am a crazy person. And so yeah, it's, it's actually better just to wear these two. I don't know what I was wearing before, but it actually wasn't the best piece of armor I had. Strangely enough. So that gives me 10 defense and 21 magic defense, and this only gives me an extra 6 and 3. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the hat. <laughs> I'm gonna wear the hat. Screw that cloak. Screw that goddamn cloak. Oh, wait. I have to actually the quest. Okay, so we have to deliver the rose oil to Noxia? Noxia? Uh, Nolexia. Nolexia. Nolexia? I don't know. It's it's. I'm guessing it's one of those plant creep people. You know, the plant ones we had to deal with before and save them, but they didn't really want to be saved. Yeah, the ones that turned evil. I'm not evil. I'm simply just beautiful. <laughs> I'm not evil. I'm gorgeous. No. <laughs> you was definitely not gorgeous. That is for sure. Okay, so we've just got, we've, we've headed to an elixir, and now we are talking to Comixo. Comixo fetches the Elder Ones. What do the Elder Ones are? Are they awesome? Are they nice? Oh my! She kind of looks, I, I will say this, a very well designed character right there. Like, looks wise. Just damn. So she's their leader. Oh, hello again! Our friends from before. Hopefully, they're here to help. Hopefully. So now we have to go stand lookout uh, east of the little solstice. Solace. And um, we have to do slash lookout. So we're doing just an emote in an area, which is pretty simple, I mean. But I think it's simple. I don't actually know. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like bridges. Oh, wow. I like how the water moves. Yes, it's just a repetitive thing over and over again, but still, it's, it's quite cool. I like water physics, especially like waterfalls and uh, rushing waters and... Damn, this place feels spooky. Um, I guess I'll just do it here. The, so, slash, look, out. Uh, what's supposed to happen here? <laughs> Are we gonna die? I don't wanna die! Oh, evil ones. Oh no, it's the evil plant people. That's not good. We don't like the evil plant people. We're now heading back to New Gridania because we've been obviously the evil plant people and we need to send word of, of stuff and things and everything in between. <laughs> it's important, you know, it's very important. 
So now we're going back to uh, the snake people. Is it, this is a uh, is this one? No, we're not this one. We're the other one. But yeah, we're going back to just to tell them the news and and tell them what has happened and hand in our quest. It's the best way to do things, you know. After a simple cutscene, we are now heading back to Thanalan or Ulda, uh, the the big desert place. So first, I do have to take the airship to get there, which shouldn't shouldn't take long. So um, I think I'll just take the airship and. Uh, Hopefully get to Thunderland. We have to speak with Tataru. Tataru. I think we've spoken to them many times before, so... We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have to admit, there are so many, like, uh, quests that have the, uh, this little blue lo uh, circle around them and a plus, which I'm guessing are, like, story quests or add-on quests. I'm not too sure, but I feel like I should be doing most of them. I don't know. Hopefully I don't get to level 60 and, like, oh, wait, I have to go do all those, which probably is going to be the case, but oh well. And now we're going to talk to Tataru, which uh, I'd supposedly her favorite adventurer. So I bet she says that to everyone there. Okay, I'm given to understand the matter of uh, Ramu has finally been resolved. Oh. It's having a bit of a story moment within the sinking sands, and um, it seems that this person is now a new important character that we have to pay attention to, which oh, we have so many of them. <laughs> And after all that uh, kerfuffle, all that talking, we now just have to talk to Minophilia. Minophilia. Minphilia. Minphilia? Yeah, Minphilia. It's an interesting name. It's just no matter how many times you try to pronounce it, it doesn't sound different. <laughs> it's one of those names. I really want to do another dungeon. I'm afraid there's no west for the weary, friendly. We must delve further into motivations of the masked man. Yeah, the masked man we've seen a few times now and a bit worried about his presence and what he has to do with this story. I think he's the big bad, like Sylvanas in World of Warcraft. Why did I start whispering then? Meh. <laughs> but I really want another dungeon, I've got to say. It's going to be really exciting to see another dungeon in action. Just, uh, I, I like them. I don't know why. It feels more action-packed, and we have mainly- I've mainly been going through the story, so I've been getting a little less action than I have, you know, a uh, story. I've got lots of story, lots of lore, lots of stuff that I have to pay attention to. Too much stuff! I'm paying attention to too much stuff. I will say, guys, I actually, uh, may have jumped onto the, uh, Final Fantasy Online store and bought an outfit. I love angels, and as you guys have probably noticed, a lot of my stuff and a lot of things I wear, whether it be RuneScape, whether it be Among Us, whether it be Goose Goose Duck, I like to wear angelic wings and the the, the halo, and it's not the, it's not different with this, no different with uh, your friendly neighborhood noobs, beautiful look in FF Online. Yeah, I, I really like this. This is actually really gorgeous, and I love the design of it. But this is what I want to wear. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to wear it most of the time because I, uh, when I go into dungeons, I'm going to need some good gear. So I want to set this as like a set, and that way I can, uh, you know, come back to this later. So I don't have to worry about you know, it, 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 I'm not wearing the right armor while going into it and I'm too weak. So hopefully this will be a lot easier. We are now heading towards the, f the f Hall of Flames, which... I think I, I think I'm the Hall of Flames. I think that's my the one I pray to, my dear Ty, my dear Ty, <laughs> my dear Ty. Okay, so we are now having to talk with Swift at the Hall of Flames, which I believe that's the one I chose in the end. I believe I chose the Hall of Flames, which probably was a good idea, even though I'm not I'm not a big flame person, more of a water person. But there there wasn't really that option, color wise. I I, I just chose blue. So we're going to talk to Swift, the Flame Commander, the Masked Man. Ah, you have come on behalf of Scorns. Scorns. Scorns? Scorns. Nah, either way, we're here to help. So we now have to go back to the Eastern Th Thanalan, which, um, I, like, it's going to be a very long walk once again because I don't have a mount, and I don't know if I'm supposed to have a mount by now. I, f I feel like I should. I'm, like, level 30. Halfway to, to a very big level, and I still don't have a mount, which is a little annoying, but, and the porter, unfortunately, I can't use because I haven't talked to any of the porters in the other areas because I didn't know I had to. Ah, look at me being silly. That's all I'll have to say. Look at me being silly. But I do have to speak to Hi Hi Baru at the High Bridge. Oh my god, look at the Tuko Tuko! 
I like the Tuco Tuco just because of their names. They look like they look like giant wombat echidnas. I think that's really cute, you know? I think that's really cute. But hey, if I had a Tuco Tuco, I'd probably throw it at someone and watch the spikes go right into them and, ki and, and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a murderous person. Well, I, I am playing Condra, so I, I heal most of the time. I have to have some sort of, you know, you know moment of wanting to murder. I was actually smart enough this time to, to make sure that I actually got the porters. I, I talked to them so that next time I can use them. Because it, it was getting a bit annoying that I couldn't just use... Somehow get here a bit quicker. And now I can! It's gonna cost money, but now I can! <laughs> Yay! Ooh, hello! Oh wow, it's killing a lot of fire drakes there. I, I don't feel like I need to help. He, he's, he's doing pretty good himself, but... You know, sometimes, sometimes the, the urge takes me to actually help people. Not this time, though. So we've hit level 31, and we now have to speak to the merchants at High Bridge. Uh, I gotta admit, this this is a very, very tall bridge. It's a very, very tall bridge. Oh my god, that is a long way down. I, I, I don't want to jump there. So now, oh, I have to talk to the merchants around the area. I don't know why. Oh, that's right, they, have, they might know something about the hooded figure, or the masked figure, I should say. Hopefully they do, because I know nothing. I, I don't know who it is. I don't know who it could be, and, and I'm very confused. No, I don't like that. Friendly doesn't like being confused. At all. They say there is fire! Just pointing it out, that, that, is, that is actually a saying, when they smoke there's fire, so I, I imagine it has something to do with that. <laughs> but we are going to have to place the coal somewhere, so I've got to check the map. Oh wow, it's right at the end. Oh, okay, so it's an adjoining area to South Shroud. Wait, isn't South Shroud in Gradenia? Wow, we're actually so close to Gradenia. It's weird how, like, we're so close to there and the, the biomes can change so quickly. Oh, there's, there's a fate nearby. Should I, should I join it? I'm level... Yeah, why not? I'm level 27. That's pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's join the fate. So here we are, Haha ha, Baru. Back so soon. Were you able to find any clues leading to your masked man? You hand over the item to him. Gasp! <laughs> I mean, <gasps> <laughs> this scroll it bears a prayer of Ralgur the Destroyer. In case you're unfamiliar, Ralgur is the guardian deity of Al Magahil, Al Him Higo, M Higo, which is currently under Galen rule. Oh my God! I can't do that accent for too long, otherwise my throat would be so sore. But either way, it seems. That we have found something very important. Very important indeed. I have to admit the music to this is actually kind of boppy, like like all this. And I will say that it is kind of cool that it can, you can drop off at any point. You can dismount. If you only need to go halfway, if you only need to go to a certain point, you can actually just dismount. And I think I should be using that more often instead of running all the way. Uh, I know it spends a little bit of uh, their gill, I believe it is, the coin. Yeah, gill. But uh, it's probably a smarter idea and probably takes less time to do certain things. And hey, we might get to level 32 a bit quicker. Another thing that's actually been pointed out to me is my friend said try the uh, Daily Roulette, which is in the Dungeon Finder, Duty Finder, and actually says this, the du Duty Roulette, leveling. So it says it's level 16 though, so I don't exactly know how that's supposed to work, but I wonder if I, if I keep doing it, if I can do it, you know, there will be more. It, it will grow and level, but I, I guess we will see. I, I really don't know. I guess we'll have to find out by trying it out. So after we uh, make it to the next point, which is actually around here, I think we should go check it out and see how it goes. As soon as we got into this world, the southern Thalan, we were greeted by what seems to be a fate. Which is kind of cool. I, oh, I have to level sync, but still, it's kind of cool because uh, I can I can try out a fate in a new area. And we have to kill the sand skin highest pierce. I don't know what they are, but hopefully, I all, all we have to do is just kill them. We have to kill them all. Matter, matter. Sand skin. So this is what happens when you when you let sand skins live. We're now in little Ala Mihingo, Mihigo, Mihigo, and uh, we're going to speak to Hi Harai. I'm at which it's just a continuation of finding out who the masked man is because honestly the masked man is not is just so elusive he's so suspicious don't like him he's so suspicious oh 
And now we're talking to Gundo Bald. Gonna go bald. We're gonna call him Gonna go bald. <laughs> Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. Uh, I'm friendly. Hello. Looking for the masked villain, you say? No, I, I did not actually. And why should we help you, pray? I, I, I don't know. Why, why should you help me? We struggle enough without having an answer to whim of every other shadow. <laughs> you are not welcome here. Be gone! He is so unwelcoming. With that, I'm actually going to try the duty finder and try the leveling thing. Yes, I know it's not my level, but uh, I'm going to see what happens, you know? I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to go down to level 16, but I want to see what it's like because I want to be able to experience random things and random events, random stuff, so that I know what the game is like because that's what the race about uh, to level 60 is. It shouldn't just be about power leveling. It should be about learning about the game. It should be learning about dungeons and obviously level duty leveling and all this sort of stuff. So so it helps you to understand what the game is like too. So we're going to try it out. So it seems from that dungeon, I actually got 108,000 experience. So if you really wanted to power level through to level 60, you just have to do dungeon after dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. <laughs> Literally, well, that's all you'd have to do and you just power through. And I, I think that's a great idea for someone who's maybe making an alt. And the, when I occasionally just don't want to do the story, I think that's a good idea for myself. But for right now, I just kind of want to do some of the story, then do maybe a dungeon, then do some of the story, and then maybe do a dungeon. And if that means I go through this, uh, through everything a little bit quicker, I don't mind. I just want to be able to enjoy it. And that really is the most important part of a race to level 60. I know people say that the speed is, but no. God no. I still stand by the fact that I really like the look of this game, whether it be the fact that it is so barren and there is just so much more potential it could have with space, you know, just adding little bits and pieces, adding broken carts, those sorts of things. But I do love the textures, the way it looks. It looks like I stepped into an animation. Let's step, it looks like I stepped into an anime and I love anime. I really do. It's just really cool. It's, uh, look, it's not my cup of tea when it comes down to it. I, I prefer that sort of cartoony look, but I really like the idea of occasionally just stepping into an anime. And yeah, it's not going to be all the time, but a lot of the time, why not? It's, it looks cool. So far, I haven't had to do anything too strenuous, and I do like that there's a little bit of story quests scattered through, but I really wish there was something more, something really exciting, and, uh... Hopefully, we're about to have an encounter. You know, hopefully, just, I want an encounter with something. Something that makes me go, ooh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> just something along those lines. We are now heading into another part of the, the sands place, the, uh, the uh, sinking sands. I actually haven't been in this area, and we're talking to Harabert. Very Harabert, really. Just with a, you don't pronounce the H or something. You wish to win the trust of the people of Little Al, Mahago? Well, that is a daunting task, my friend. Even for my, uh, our own countrymen. I would like nothing more to help, but I'm afraid my name no longer carries weight with a lot. For some reason, I think of him like Johnny Bravo. I mean, look at him. Kind of reminds me of a Johnny Bar Bravo sort of character, like the Suave. Suave. And, uh, and those glasses inside. Yeah, that's the sort of person he is. He wears glasses inside. Oof. I will say, I have noticed the fact that we have spent most of our time in Gridania, Ulda, and uh, the Limza Laminza. I don't know if that's because of the starting areas with Ever Fal Falan, Shroud, and uh, I can't remember the last one, but may I think this is the base game we're playing, obviously. So those are the areas you start with. I'm hoping to find some more exciting areas in the future because I know that that uh, Final Fantasy Online is such a big game and I know there's been expansions. So I'm guessing it will get bigger. I'm hoping it will because so far it's uh, I, I really want to see more worlds. I want to feel like I'm seeing more worlds instead of returning to the same worlds over and over again. Okay, so we just spoke to uh, Mifred, who seems to be, you know, one of the many people who help out this area. And I'm, oh my god, it's a demon brick. What, what the hell? That, that, that's just weird. That is just completely and utterly weird. And we're going to talk to Albreda. Albreda. 
I want to help. I truly do. They're my countrymen, after all. But that mean going against the elements will. Elemental, sorry. <laughs> but hey, it might not be against their will. Hey, I, I'm here to help, and I, I, I am seeking the power of the elements. So maybe I can help. You never know. And now we're going to talk to Charlene. Well, it seems like we're all just talking. There's just a lot of talk. Just a lot of talk to people and trying to get help and... Ah, uh, that how it, it, it's to be then. The bloody Harrier might uh, well kill Galleon himself. Spit on the elements and spit on the bloody wheel. I cannot wait until the resistance is free from this place. There's a resistance. Of course there's a resistance. When is there not a resistance? Okay, we have to help to save the wounded comrade. Okay, so I guess I'm going to help. Lend my, uh, uh, lend... I led my men to Quarry Mill, hoping to find refuge. Instead, we found indifference. Well, so we're going to have to help them. We're going to have to help them see what they need to see. A second stag must die. All the stag must die. Make them bleed. Hear their cries. <laughs> yes, I am slightly insane. We have got the four long antelope horns to to give to Melfred. Mefred. Mefred? Mefred. Mefred! <laughs> Another Pokemon sounding one. Here are your four horns, sir. And may you use them in a great fashion. Though I do feel bad for killing all the animals. But, you know, it had to be done and plus it's in a game. It's not real. I'm not hurting any real animals. No, I, I would not hurt animals. Hello again, Buscaron. How are you today? Oh, friendly. Uh, for a sight of for sore eyes. How far is the adventure? Rolling in the coins like there's no tomorrow, no doubt. Hmm, you've got something to show me. I hand over the long antelope horns. For some reason he wants antelope horns. Well, these look good. Old antelope horns need them to ground them down to meet Mason, you see. Here's a better idea. I'll give you some of the stuff I have in my stores, eh? No stranger to the remedy. So, he's actually going to help us out. Instead of having to ground it down and wait patiently, he's just going to give us some. Which is actually a lot easier. And, you know, less time consuming. I'm sure he can go ground down whatever that needs to be grounded down. And we can go on with our lives. I'm going to hand over the medicine now to Faramund. And hopefully this will make them, you know, trust me a bit more. God bless you, adventurer. I see the galleon received treatment once. Hopefully, this will allow the captain to rest easier. There's been a trouble burden on him, trying to keep up every man alive. You've done us a great kindness, friend. Hopefully, that makes him trust me. See, I'm not a bad person. I just do bad things. Oh, and level 33! Yay! I now have to track down galleon. Which I don't exactly know who galleon... Wait, do I know? I think I know where Galleon is actually, never mind. <laughs> Having those moments, they're like, I swear they've mentioned him multiple times, and then you remember, oh, they have, they have, they have. Okay. But no, so we've talked talk to the brothers and the sister, and now we have to go track down Galleon. See where the hell he is and what the hell he is doing! It looks like he's just sitting here very, um, or kneeling, actually. Panting. Watch out! A goblin! Oh, uh, uh, wow, a goblin. Oh no, how terrible. Uh, I'm scared. Help, help. So now with returning Galleon to his brothers, I feel a little bit better, you know? I feel I feel like I may have done something right. Which, I don't often feel like that in this game. I don't know why. I often feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. But hey, I, 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 I'm new and I, I don't know what to do. I'm all alone and lost in this world they call... I can't remember what they call the world. Oh well. <laughs> See, I don't, know, I don't know much. We are now returning to Gonna Go Bald. <laughs> gonna Go Bald. To tell him that we actually have a recommendation and that we're not strangers. So, you know, you should, should probably listen to us and uh, uh, and do what we say. He's not going to, but... um, You you spoke with me, Fred. It has been so long since I last heard from him. I feared he, him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are... Mayfred says he was a friend, and any friend of Mayfred is a friend of mine. So now we must talk about the masked stranger, the terrible person who's been plaguing our lives. <laughs> I don't know what he has. He's a douche. I don't like him. 
<laughs> We've got a rendezvous, rendezvous, with Wilfred. Wilfred being one of the people inside of that uh, giant rock village. Uh, and hopefully he'll help us with the masked man. We need to find the identity in order to, you know, flesh him out and hopefully murder him. Oh my goodness, that is a scary thing. It's Zan... Zanigo. Which I imagine that's a, a, a mini-boss or like a world bossy sort of thing. It, it, it's one of the elites, basically. Oh, hello, Wilfred. Wilred. Wilred! Okay, Wilred. Hello, Wilred. Thanks for coming, friend. Tis no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of, an, of the old bear. Tell me, why are you snooping about? Well, let me tell you. There are many reasons why I'm snooping about it. Oh my! Um, what are they doing here? These guys are supposed to be helping me. Ala Gahigan. I, I mean, aren't these guys supposed to be helping me rather than hindering me? Please tell me that they're on my side. <laughs> Obviously, now I know they're not because they're hurting the hell out of me. But, uh, I want to know why they attacked me in the first place. Is it, is it a trust exercise? If it's a trust exercise, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna complete this trust exercise and be the best friendly that I can be. And therefore, you guys are gonna trust me. Well, you're at least gonna know that I can kick your butt, so you better trust me or else. I will not let you foil our plans! Ah, oh, well, too bad. You're stronger than you look! This change is nothing. Threaten us, beat us bloody all you like, but nothing will short, make, uh, short of death can make us give up the fight. We're going to obtain their power and bring down the Empire. Okay, so he's crazy. So now I can go tell Gonna, uh, gonna Go Bold about the betrayal and the resistance and all the death that he want, they want to bring and, uh, yeah. Ask for questions, for one. How dare you? So I told him what happened and he is not impressed. Ulred mentioned obtaining the power to bring down the Empire. Of what power could he be speaking? Gonna go bold. Oh, it's her. Gonna go bold. Bert... Bertli... Bert... Bertlina! I'm gonna call her Bertlina. God preserve, what happened? I was foraging when the corpse brigade came. They took to their hideout, and they, they, <laughs> the whole while they laughed at me. They said I would suffer because I clinged to, on to hope. Is it wrong to dream of home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Alamakins? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong, I swear to you. Those villains... Well, actually, probably he's, he's probably more like, uh, Those villains will answer to their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Worried. He saw me outside. He was so angry. That might answer why he was so upset with him. But still, that is no reason to go around destroying things and causing panic. And trying to kill friendly, you know that that is that there is no reason to kind of try to kill friendly, just letting you know. So it seems that there is a, a, a plot going on, and there was Zacharad or Zarkarad, Zarak, 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 I believe it was, a Mac for Zarak, hunting knives, and a whole bunch of very pissed off young people. I don't know what this is going to lead to, but I imagine a lot of bloodshed and a lot of disappointment. Yeah, a lot of disappointed old people. Will Red, you, I have come to make you answer for your crimes. Did not, uh, no others survive. This is all wrong. Getting the crystal is supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homelands. We, we were... Pull yourself together, lad! We were going to make an offering of the crystal to Ragar to summon him. Just like the masked one man told taught us. Oh jeez. Okay, so they're they're in cahoots with the masked man. So this is um this is gonna lead badly. Oh, and lizard people are here. This is gonna be great. I'm I'm just so excited. Help! <laughs> well, it looks like we are going to defeat the lizard people, which it doesn't look like it's gonna be very hard, being that they are level twenty five and I'm level thirty three. Oh, no, technically I'm level 31, it decreased my level, but still, I'm at the highest nature and I think they were expecting me to be level 25 at this point. I don't know why, though. 
I mean, I, I, it's not like I haven't, I've been doing leveling on the side or anything like that. I, I don't know, I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. And with that, it is time to return to Gun Go, uh, Gonna Go Bald, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can come to a. Co what the hell is happening in here? Hired bow? Uh, uh, are you are you okay? I I'm just gonna heal you quickly. I don't I don't know if you need it, but um, there's a heal. Um, uh, why are there hired bows there? I'm a bit concerned, especially because he's level forty. I'm probably gonna have to come here back here at some point. I don't want to come back here. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the disgruntled youth and gonna go bald. But we know I'm gonna have to. <laughs> we know it's going to happen. <laughs> Hello, gonna go bald. How you doing? What do we do? So once again, we return to Minfelia, Felia, and she has now sent us to speak with another person. Speak with Noraxa. Noraxa, who's actually in the Walking Sand, so let's see if they send us to another place, and another place, and another place. So we seem to be sent all over this world, which isn't a bad thing, we get to explore and all that, but uh, I would like to be another, go to another part, like the heavens, or some floating isles, or just something a little more exciting. I don't know, I don't think, I'm not saying where I am isn't exciting, it's just I've seen it. I have to admit, this is probably one of the most beautiful places I've been in uh, Final Fantasy, other than the uh, other than Uldar. Just when it comes to not being a main city, this is probably one of the more prettier places. It's in Gridania, it's in North Shroud, but just beautiful autumn trees, it's cute little houses, the water, it's all just very beautiful. And whatever else is happening over there, which I'm probably going to go check out because I, I, it's so, that's so colourful. It's just everything works here. It has a sense of emotion, feeling, personality. I just like it. And whatever, what, what the, what the, whoa, okay. That's cool. Hopefully we'll be going over here for the next part of the quest, but that is awesome. Yeah, I like this area. <laughs> I, I, I've already set up Gradini, Gradini, Gradinia seems to or Gradania seems to be my favorite area um, and all the all the surroundings of it the shroud which is it's just pretty it's nice I've always been a big fan of nature and trees and this is my favorite place this is my favorite place by far now after a request from some very scared travelers um, I have to go kill some ziz ziz I don't know if they're bees, if they're insects of some sort, but they're called ziz. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds so stupid. But hey, I, I'm willing to do all that I can. And oh, okay, the ziz are not little things. They're giant lizard birds. Okay. I would have liked to know that earlier. But I guess we're just doing giant lizard birds now. The Ziz actually weren't that hard to defeat, I will say that, but it was nice. It was nice to actually have a bit of a challenge the, uh, uh, because they had this sort of paralysis thing where they breathed on me and then it gave me paralysis and every so often I'd be frozen. I like those sorts of little moments where I'm like, oh, okay, well, that, that, that's annoying. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was really nice to have a bit more of a challenge in a fight. Uh, but now we have to go return and report to Aideen. It's not Aiden, it's Aideen. It's got two E's. Cause she's, you know, and she's also a girl. And I keep passing it to the same person who has a, that weird demon brick. Never gonna forget them because of that demon brick. After helping the adventurers with their small little tasks in the area, I've decided to move on and search for the maid, a maiden's corpse west of Thalgard. Gord. Gord? Gord. Ah, either way. We're going to go find it, and that seems to be why they're so petrified. They seem very upset about something, and I think it has to do with that. Maybe someone died who was close to them, and that's why they're so upset. Because they're lying there, and all this, <laughs> which usually is like uh, a dramatic husky noises, but uh, in this case, it's just them being sad. So hopefully we can go find the corpse and um, do what we can to give it a proper burial, and uh, the, the laying of uh, the, uh, the uh, garlic, as, as one would say, for the elven rituals. Yes, I may not be an elf, but I, I do know the elven rituals. Okay, so we found the mangled corpse, and instead, we also found a frickin' floating eye. 
one of the ugliest things I've seen so far. Look at it. So gross. I, I know it probably thinks the same about me, but God, you was ugly. God. Friend friendly does not like floating eyes. It's, 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 it's been declared. I do not like floating eyes. They're disgusting. I will point out that I like the quest it's called uh, Power of Deduction, and it's actually present the ravaged corpse to Althamir. Um... Yeah, that, that's a normal thing to do, just presenting a dead body and going, Oh, by the way, here's a dead body. Well, I guess we've got to go present it to the Serpent Sergeant. After everything that's happened, we are actually uh, going to go talk to Mother M. We haven't seen her in ages, and it's good to finally see her again. Unfortunately, we are going to have to show her the lily button, which I believe is the thing that's representing the corpse. I don't know, but it's, it's pretty sad either way. It's not exactly the best hello, but hopefully she understands. Good day to you, friendly. But your grim expression. I suspect you aren't here for scones and herb tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, Mother M. I'm here to show you something very depressing. But, you know, sometimes we have to do the depressing. And that's okay. I'm currently on the quest called The Secret of the White Lily. But now I'm showing not only Mother M, but I'm showing quite a few people the, the little lily button, which I imagine is like a call to arms, especially with all the... Uh, the people in the white lily, but I, I don't know, to be honest, I, I'm just, I'm just, the messenger, you know, I'm just showing up and going, hey there, this is what I found, if you need some help, just, just let me know. <laughs> I, I really just hope that it, that's what it is, and uh, they're a secret organization to helping people and not the Illuminati, because we know how that always turns out. Badly. And if you didn't know that, now you do. <laughs> Alright. Hello, new friend. Ursandel. As I was once a manservant in the employ of one of the oldest and proudest families in Gridania. The Durant Course. During that time, I had the honor of waiting upon Lady Amandine, mistress of the household. Fair summer she was. Was she? I like what she was. And possessed a heart befitting her radiance. Alas, the calamity wrought a great change in her. Though my lady escaped with her life, death may well have been a kind of fate. Kind of fate. Okay. So we're going to have to find someone, I imagine, or help someone. Pretty usual. Cut to me taking the mo the fact that uh, the quest is called Skeletons in Her Closet and just giggling inside going, <laughs> But either way, we do have to make our way to the Haki Manor. Hockey, Hockey Manor, uh, which is in the corner over here, and I am noticing there is a dungeon symbol there, which means Hockey Manor is a dungeon. And you can see the biggest smile on my face, because you guys know I love dungeons. I love dungeons. Do the word, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love dungeons, and honestly, if this is if this is going to be a dungeon, I cannot wait, because uh, dungeons are fun. Dungeons are very fun. I think I should have to go up, but dungeons are very fun, and anyone who says they aren't are liars. Liars, liars, liars. And they're probably my favorite part of um, FF Online, and I, I've grown to love certain dungeons more when I've done them the second time. That being uh, the ones I critique the most. <laughs> But no, it, it is kind of interesting going back over the dungeons you've done before and going, you know what, they weren't as bad as I thought. I, I, I was being a bit harsh on them. So now we are heading into what I think is going to be a dungeon. I don't know. It might not be. It might not be. I might be imagining things and this is all just a big waste of time and it's going to be more story, more, more, more story. But we haven't had a dungeon in a while, so I actually think it's about time that we do. I don't know. Uh, uh, you, you guys might not agree with me, but I think it's about time. I do. I do. I also believe in fairies, but, you know, that's a thing. Oh. My. Goodness. That house is huge. It looks beautiful. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna ignore whatever they're doing down there with that disgusting, ugly creature that's uh, beneath me. Oh, those, are, those stroppers are disgustingly ugly. Disgustingly ugly. But this is beautiful. I love how the, the light, that, that light that comes through the trees, oh my god, it's all just so pretty. Oh, floating eye. Avoid the floating eye. Avoid the floating eye. But the mana, oh. I really just cannot wait. If this is a dungeon, I'm so excited. From I, This dungeon is actually level 28, and I'm a level 34, so that's kind of interesting. I think I'm, 
I think that uh, I might be overleveled a little bit. But I'm really excited about this. Oh my god. I'm still excited about this because this is a new dungeon and it looks kind of cool. And it's like Luigi's Mansion sort of scary. Ah, yeah. The Black Shroud Hockey Manor. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be enjoyable. Hopefully. I, I, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I don't know about you guys. I hope, hopefully my team also knows what to do. And where to go. Oh my god, that's a mana maid servant? What the hell? She looks like a freaking ghost! This is a spectre if I've ever seen one. So we've got carpet stains, which are actually living things. Makes no sense to me. And Ma and, and mana maid servants who are attacking us? Why? What? They're, they're like ghosts. She's got. She's a ghost with giant claws. What is this? What happened to this place? That's what I want to know. In disarray. Okay, we are now up to our first boss, which is mana Cleviger. 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 I don't know. But it looks like one of the maid servants times ten. She's awfully scary. I'm sure she's supposed to be slightly sexy. I think that it is an anime. But yeah, she's she's just frightening all around. She's got giant horny ears. I don't like her horny ears. Look at that. Oh, she's just she's like a sexy vampire. Either way, we do have to completely and utterly murder her in order to get to the next area. But uh, yeah. A cool design, and uh, I love this manor. This manor is so cool. We are now in the... what seems to be the Yellow Hall, which I think is the next boss, and we've got the Manor Jester and the Manor Steward, which, uh, I don't know, I don't know, but they but they look deadly, and they look like they want to murder us, so I, I, I'm a bit worried, and it's two bosses for the price of one. So I, I, I think I think the best thing to do is, is try to stay alive and not to die and for me to heal the hell out of this because honestly this has been really hard. They, like the team has been wanting to move really quickly which is kind of obvious and I it's my first time and not their first time. So yeah they have been really pushing me. So I don't know I've been spamming heals non-stop and I, I wish I knew better heals. I wish I had you know different heals, a variation of heals but at the moment it doesn't matter. I'm just spamming. I'm spam Damon. I'm noticing a lot of the bosses are uh, having like simple mechanics like move out of the way of something and stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure they'll get a bit more serious when you know raids come around or the higher level dungeons. But at the moment I'm not seeing really anything that threatening or that scary which is maybe a good thing. But yeah at the, at the moment I, I'm not too worried. I, I have to spam a few times but otherwise <laughs> I cannot wait to get it to the harder ones where it's going to be like so scary and so hard. Oh my. Looks like we've woken up Lady Amadine. Holy, okay, so it's just sexy, scary vampire lady with something in her back. Oh my. Okay, fear. Lots and lots of fear. I'm actually really enjoying this kind of battle because it's actually really hard. I'm finding that I have to move out of the way of quite a few things, there's quite a few ads. There's also a mechanic where you have to, you know, turn off a lantern in all four corners, otherwise an AoE damage is done. So I'm really enjoying that aspect of it too. I asked for more mechanics and this boss definitely delivered. It's really hard. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we defeated it! Ha! <laughs> oh no, I almost feel bad. Oh well. <laughs> Darkness has taken root within these halls, sprung from the most unlikely of seeds. Is it the masked guy? Has he come back? Has he come back? Come on, come on. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, there's two of them. Never mind. Two masked figures. Oh, one's tall and one's short. Ah, uh, okay. So they look more like cultists rather than the masked man. But in saying that, you know, 12th staff and 12th sword. 
I wonder if I'm going to have to defeat them. <laughs> That's right, friendly. Look, 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 terrorized. Look, look, scary. You, you, you can do it. We're actually starting off with a the the dragon, uh, the dragon boss. Which, oh god, I, I must say this is actually one of the harder battles I've dealt with, and it's just one boss. It's not really a dungeon, so it's kind of a waste. Honestly, to, uh, for my bonus experience, but hey, it's quick, it's easy, and when we can move on to the story. So, you know, not going to complain. Well, maybe play a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a, just a tiny tad, tad. Just a little bit. Right here. Right in my little fingies. My fingy beans. The toe beans are fingy beans. That, that's all it is. <laughs> oh, we're, waiting. we're waiting for someone in the cutscene, though. We are waiting for someone in the cutscene. Alright, we're ready to go. And of course, I'm going to be the perfect of healers. Oh, this person has Fist of Earth. Damage taken is reduced. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. Bad, bad, bad. Heal you. Heal you. I must heal. I believe everyone except... Oh, no, wait. Leon. Leon is the one who isn't um, at the same level as us because he's he's a little bit lower, but that's fine. You know, we like to help people out. We like we like people who, who are close. You know, close to the level. All right. Sir, come to the inferno. How about no? Oh, oh no, no, no! I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get. Oh wow! I didn't. That's 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 lucky. <laughs> Especially with my ping. Ouch. Okay. Ready, ready. One, two. Oh. Medicia. There we go. That's always a nice big bonus. Oh god! Run, run, Leon, run! I feel like I have to go over here because he's going to do that stomp thing again. Oh, Leon got hit by it. That's okay, Leon. I'll hear you. We're actually doing pretty well on this. And I haven't actually had to use any of my, my bad spells at the moment. I'm going to help with the sword, though. Uh, oh, there it is. The infernal nail. See if we can get kill the nail. See if we can kill the nail. Come on, guys. Kill it. Get it down quickly. We always wait too long and it explodes and we die. Here we go. There, there he is. Bam! Right at the perfect time. See that the power does less and less uh, depending how much the sword's health is. So if the sword has lots of health, it's going to do lots of damage. If it has very little health, it's just going to hurt us, but nothing too much. I mean, it should still hurt us, though. That makes sense. I think Leon might be glitching or lagging a little bit. Poor thing. Poor Poppet. Oh, no. Can't tell. Can't tell. You're going to survive. I'm going to heal you. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, uh, I still got hit by it. You know what I'm going to do? Medicia. I never knew what the right path is. You know, to escape and not die? Never know. Oh god. Worst place. Worst place to put it. But here we go. That was actually really quick and easy. And this was a team who didn't seem as experienced with the fight. And we did it really quick and easy. So I'm proud of them. So now currently we are going to do the... Uh, the skeletons in her closet. Report to Usindel. Uh, so basically we went to the manor last episode and we happened to completely and utterly decimate the lady of the manor. And I actually, I love that dungeon. That dungeon was really pretty and really nice, well designed. The boss was really hard at the end and I actually had to learn mechanics, which was kind of a nice touch. I, 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 I like when there's a little touch of mechanics because then you have to do something extra, otherwise you die. And that's what we had to do. So yeah, I really enjoyed that dungeon. And now we have to return to the manservant to tell him what happened. I mean, look, there was a lot that happened, but we have to tell him the, the, the details. Like the gory details. You know how we sliced her head off. Decapitation's cool. All the kids are doing it now. It's all the rage. But who am I to speak of punishment? By my silence, I allowed not how many innocent young women to die in unspeakable circumstances. Yeah, but you not speaking up and letting your la your lady kill all those innocent women. They're now ghost ladies. It was terrible. It was scary. Uh, they were sexy ghost ladies, but they were still scary. It's freaking scary. They're like vampire floating around, legs out, big scary fangs. It was terrifying. Especially for friendly. 
Okay, so we've returned to Minfilia to tell her what happened. Welcome back, friendly. I'm full glad I am to see you a safe return. So yeah, we're going to tell her what happened to the poor lady and everything that we've learned. Because we've learned quite a lot in a small period of time. So she has, she has a lot to catch up on. Now we're going on to the next quest, which actually has brought everyone together. Is there going to be some talking? Please tell me this could be audio. Voice acting? The Maelstrom yes! Requests our assistance. Yes! Okay, so the Maelstrom uh, requests our assistance. Concerning the kobolds they sent such copious notes on, I presume. Oh, God. Maybe don't yes. show how you feel. <laughs> Maybe. And no. It has more to do with their findings, which portend a peril far greater than any beast tribe. <gasps> I like beast traps. What sort of peril? The danger. Lots and lots of danger. How does she not know what peril is? The worst kind. A tribe of kobolds in the vicinity of Limsa Lominsa oh. has reawakened Titan. We're going to Linza Leminza. I actually like that place, but I like Gridani more. Our task will be to slay the primal. Okay. The Maelstrom have sworn support for the endeavor. Would they better? They are no strangers to the havoc kobolds can wreak. So it looks like the next part is actually directing us towards Limsa Laminza to do with the Titan. Which I'm actually excited about that. We have to speak to Rush de Riki, which is actually, obviously, in Limsa uh, Lenosa, which is in Limsa Laminza. So we're going to have to go to Limsa Laminza, and we're probably going to go all to all these areas that we haven't explored yet, which is kind of cool. We've already gone to a lot of Thallon, and we've gone to the Shroud. Now it's time to go to Limsa. Finding our way in Limsa Liminza. Have I got this one? I do. Okay, well, uh, that, that, I don't need that one. Is there actually a giant one here? Because I want to try to get it. I think it's this one. Is that the... No, that's not a giant one. Well, I'll just do the quest, and hopefully I'll come across another one so I can teleport back here at some point. It's uh, over here. The Wrath of the Titans. It's level 30! A level 30 quest, so we're kind of getting there. I mean, we're almost level 36, but... We're close enough. I mean, it's only six levels away. <laughs> we're limiting the numbers a little bit. But who cares? We're, we're having fun. And uh, I just happen to be leveling a bit faster than expected. This castle is beautiful. Look at it. Oh, free company invitation. Mm, no, I'm good. But this is beautiful. I, I love the design of it. Ah, uh, this one is for them. Okay, it's for the storm people. My friend's one of the storm, uh, one of the storm peoples. They joined the storm people because they wanted red, and I, well, I joined the fire people because I wanted blue, which is kind of the opposite of what I expected. Hail, adventurer! Hail, adventurer, and welcome to the Maelstrom Command. If you wish to know more about enlisting, speak to the personal officer. Unless you are a guest, we are told to expect. <laughs> Forgive me, sir. I don't know. I, I don't know what she sounds like, and I can't do a female's voice. I can try. It just sound, ends up sounding really gay. Which, technically, it should. <laughs> so, they have sent me towards the uh, the lower La Nocia? La Nocia? Nos I don't know. I'm not too oh, we leveled up! Oh my god, we leveled to 36! Okay, only four more levels to go, but we're in the lower uh, La Le Le Nocia, which is kind of interesting, especially because this is where you would start if you chose uh, an area in Lim La Minza. If you were to choose, I think, an Arcanist... Uh, is one of them. If you choose one of those, you'd actually start in this area, and most of your starting quests would start here. Which I think is cool. I mean, it's, it is pretty cool, and uh, you can have three characters that start in three different areas, so you can get the experience from each area. Uh, I personally like this area. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. I do. I believe in lots of fairies, you know? We gotta believe in all the fairies. But in this case, we are going to be going to... Where are we going? Some, somewhere near the mist. Oh, I've been here. I've been here. Chocobo Keep in Cedarwood. I, I've, I've actually been in this area for my when I first played, which I only got to like level 13. When I first played, this is I started in Laminza. And I actually came all the way up into this place. Chocobo Keep. I never went to the mist, though. I don't know what the mist is, but I don't imagine it's an area for me. <laughs> it might be for the high levels. Or maybe it's just, you know, a normal area. Is it over there? Is that the mist? I don't know. Do I believe in the mist? I will say what I like about this area is that look how beautiful that is. The light upon the water, the sunset. Ah, it's just so pretty. It always feels nice, you know, when the lighting really works in a game and does this. Just like that little bit of glare from the light and it hitting there and doing that rainbow effect. That's so natural. That's so 
what you'd see is human. Human. And uh, uh, this water. I wish I could dive into it, but I'm pretty sure there's monsters in there that would eat me. But hey, at least I'd have a beautiful moment before I was eaten. Hello. Hello, dear. Friendly's here. Knock, knock. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, he's singing me a song. Okay. Well, I don't like songs. I'm just going to put it out there now. I don't like songs. I hate music. You hear it now? Friendly hates music. No, I don't hate music. Love music. But yeah, just don't see me sing me a she sea shanty. I'm good. I just want to point out this guy is wearing the most inappropriate outfit. I mean, look at it. You you can you can see he's basically wearing underwear and like harnesses. He's like the weirdest farmer. He's like he's like he's like a, a, a stripper farmer. He's like a stripper that is a farmer. But anyway, we have to destroy rats' nests, which uh, that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, there's just tiny little rats, right? Just little baby rats all over the place. No need to be murdered. Tiny babies. Just tiny baby rats. Come on, that baby rats. Hello? Hello? Wake up. Oh, God. Okay, those those are not baby rats. Those are not tiny baby rats. Those are large and in charge rats. And they do a decent amount of damage. Because there's like four of them. Okay, you're going to all die. J just do it quietly and do it quickly. I, I have things to do, people to see. And, uh, and lim Limsa Liminza to visit. I probably should do this, shouldn't I? Bam! Okay. Mail, what can the other one after that? And do that one. Oh, okay, it won't let me. It wants it dead. One at a time, one at a time. I wish I had an AoE attack. Like, one at a time is not really fun for me. Okay, so we're serving an area right next door. We're searching for go go Goobies west of the Grey Fleet. And oh my. Uh, well that That's a giant creature of scariness. And it wants to kill me. So great. This is going to be fun. Oh my god. No, 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 no. It's funny because in all, in all reality, that would still hit me. Even if I moved out of the way just slightly. I don't understand why it didn't. Oh, it still hit me. Okay, that, that one was weird because I moved to the side of it, but it, I don't think this is supposed to make sense. A giant rock creature with t giant teeth is trying to kill me and it's not biting me. I mean, if I was him, I would just bite me. Damn. Sorry. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Okay, so we're, 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 I went straight out the door, and all of a sudden, there's the Grey, gray Fleet Miller. Hello. And he's got a quest for me. I'm, I'm going to be put down to level 34, which is only like two levels below. Oh. Oh, right. do I have to kill boulders? All right, you know the rules. First man to scratch the boulder, we judged by the goo blue 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 Don't even think about trying to kill me. That's cheating. Who picked these boulders? They're nothing alike. Oh, hell. Oh god, I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? Oh no. It's doing very little damage to this boulder. Like, I'm doing extremely little damage. Like, he's doing less. He's doing less damage, but I'm doing very little damage to a boulder. It's a- I can kill huge dragons, but not a boulder. He just used- he- yeah, he's- only killing is against the rules? Well, that's... Oh, my God. Seriously? There. If I... Wait, I can put him to sleep. He, he resisted my sleep! I'm still gonna win, but God damn it! He tried to hurt me? And that is not okay. He, all he said was don't kill. He didn't say anything about hurting and maiming and destroying. And I, I'm, I'm in fear. He's going to try to almost kill me. And then paralyze me. 15 seconds to self-destruct. What does that mean? 10 seconds to self-destruct. Oh, he tried to cheat. He tried to cheat with a bomb. That is bad. Yeah, that's right. You lost. So after his terrible, terrible, terrible defeat, 
I proved I'm the best boulder destroyer. And now I have to go to Eastern La La Nas Nasi La Nasi. I'm just gonna call it La Nasi. I don't even know what the real name is. Nasia 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 actually sounds nicer. La Si La Nasia La Nasia, and we're going to go and ha talk to uh, Whis Whisket. I don't know. There are so many names I have to learn. I am so I am so done with learning names. We have come to a new area that kind of, it's very beachy. Oh god, there are giant crabs over there, so it's extremely beachy. There's lots of water, it's called Bloodshore, and giant things called large buffaloes. That's a buffalo? That's a buffalo. It's a buffalo. It's a buffalo! And all I have to say is that is a very scary giant fort that I'm probably gonna have to deal with later. Oh god. We are currently in a place called Costa del Sol, and my god it's good looking! Like, look at this! This is like a pool party place! Ah, oh, this is where this is where we're gonna go to for a pool party. Once we hit level sixty, we're gonna go here and have a nice pool party, just chilling out. Pardon, you wish to slay the lost Lord of the Crags? You must slay. Uh, we must slay him, Captain. Oh, we must slay him, Captain. The people of Limsa and Linsa are depending upon us. Well, I mean, we don't have to, but they want us to. So you know, <laughs> do I get paid? <laughs> Okay, so we're doing a quest called Nix That. Uh, we have to use a herring to lure out the Nix. Which is kind of silly, but... It sounds interesting. Can I jump into the water? Oh no, that's a rock. Um, water! Oh my god, there's swimming in this. Oh, it's, it, there's no diving. I, I, why can't there be diving? That would be cool. I like a good dive. Okay, never mind. If, that, if that's what's in the water, if I dive, I'd rather not ever dive. Oh god! Help! Ah! Oh my god, that was annoying. Okay, it's it's a it's an inflated mix, and it is huge and scary and ugly, and I can't really tell because of the sand of whether it's gonna hurt me or not. Well, technically, it's always gonna hurt me, but it's just really dangerous. We are now currently back in Gridania. But in the low and the south shroud, and I've got to say, it's a uh, it's always good bet to be back in Gradenia. But I wish there wasn't so much jumping all over the place, and you're going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. It just sometimes feels a little silly. I don't know. I just sometimes I wish I'd just be in one place for a long period of time, and then go to a new place for a long period of time, and maybe go back there just to hand in something. Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 different. I think that's why I'm just not used to it. And I'll probably get used to it eventually, but uh, for now, it's terrible. Had it. Awful. <laughs> we still have to make it over to the next quest. I feel like we're in a different biome already, and we just went to a different area. It's Root Slack? Root Slack? Root Slack or Root Slack? But in saying that, it's uh, a swamp, basically. It's kind of like a swamp area, and it's kind of cool. I didn't expect this, but maybe because it's leading to Thalen? I don't know, but I like it. I like it. It's a new area. We always like new biomes, but I still have to end my quest. I have to speak to Landau. Land... Landon... Landonel. 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 Okay, so what we have to do is we have to lay hands upon Admint Tortoise Egg. Where's the egg? Could be here around here some... Oh, there it is. I was like, where the hell is it? I'm guessing a tortoise is going to attack us. A man tortoise. Yeah, oh, 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 where is it? Yeah, a giant tortoise. How'd I know? How'd I know that even though it wasn't named a tortoise, it was going to be a tortoise? <laughs> Hello there, Torti. I'm so very sorry that I stole your egg, and I would move out of the way, but I don't imagine you're going to do that much damage. No, you actually didn't, because I dodged it! I'm a super friendly. I have superpowers, and I dodge out of the way of evil spells such as yourself. You're you're an evil spell. <laughs> Not what you do is an evil spell. You're an evil spell. Oh, I got steal the egg. Okay, I've got to lay my hands on the egg. I feel a bit bad because I actually had to kill an animal for its egg, and uh, do I really have to do that? You know, couldn't I just? I've stolen it and run. Why'd I have to kill it? It would have been cooler if I was like a sneak ability where I could sneak up and grab the egg instead of, instead of having to murder everything I steal from. Ugh, Peter's just having a field day with this game. 
<laughs> They're loving it. So it seems after I handed in the egg, they're now sending me to Southern Thunderland, which is a little weird. I, I, I understand there might be turtles everywhere, but why do I have to do the trial by turtle in another area? So I'm probably going to go through and try to find where to, uh, the new area in the Southern... Well, for me, it's new because I actually haven't been to this area, but it's exciting. It's exciting and new. Oh my God, there's like level 40 stuff everywhere. <laughs> uh, level 30 stuff all here, I should say. But nothing connects to it, so you kind of have to run through a whole bunch of level 40 stuff. That's terrifying. Uh, what's that one? 40, 40. Well, I'm going to have a long walk ahead of me. <laughs> I have found myself in the middle of a desert. Wonderful. I, I, all I can see is sand everywhere. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Oh my god, so it's the Sa Sagoli Desert. Oh my. It's a lot of sand. I'm worried because I'm actually in an area that's made for level 40s, and I am not level 40. We're not close, but not no cigar. <laughs> that's what we're trying to do this episode. Get to level 40. And, uh, oh, there's level 30 stuff. Yay, I feel safe again. We're now talking to Uadom Noom. State your business, adventurer. <laughs> so this is the week it sent me. I haven't the foggiest what he sees in you, and until I do, you will receive no aid from me. Oh no, not again. I'm gonna have to actually, you know, gain help from someone by making them trust me. By doing tasks. So this should be interesting. Sure, send me to do something. Oh, these all look pretty cool. I should, I'd like to look at that one. Hmm. Oh my god, they're disgusting looking. What are those? Sandworms? Oh. <laughs> those are a thing of nightmares. Those are the things I do have in my nightmares. I never want to see them again. Just don't look. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and hope that you'll land in the right place. Oh, that's a cool looking thing. It's a lizard. <laughs> okay, we're about to use the uh, spear. The bloody goose sarmi. I, I am butchering words at this point. I want to see where he's coming from. Where is he? Where is he? Lion wait. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting very patiently. Oh, okay. I actually have to lion wait somewhere. Fine. I will hide here until he comes. But honestly, I, don't, I, I, I think I should just stand there and be like, Hey, how you doing? Hello! Stonepike. What is his name? Stonepike. Tanandga. Oh, ow, so painful. Take my rock in your face. Oh, and by the way, I did not like how you spoke to my friends this evening, so I'm going to have to throw a rock in your face. Just keep throwing rocks in his face. Six and stones may break your bones, and that's pretty much it. So that's all I had to do? I had to, get, I had to collect a necklace, present the veteran's necklace to, to prove that I am worthy to do his quest. Can't people just take a hero as they are? Is that a possibility? Ugh, this teaches you just because you're a hero, you actually have a reputation as well. Sounds exactly like YouTube. You have good content, but you have to have, be, uh, you have, to have a reputation as well. A good one. I'm never going to have a good one. I'm going to be too crazy, too weird, too... People are going to hate me. <laughs> people are going to hate me! <laughs> it's not my fault I'm weird. I was born this way. Quite literally. <laughs> so now we have to we have to actually place this carcass elsewhere? Okay. Uh oh, when the worm turns. Oh god. Oh no. I'm gonna have to see a sandworm. Ew. Yes, I hate the look of sandworms. And I'm sure you're you're putting in the comments hashtag justice for sandworms. But no. No, they won't get the justice they deserve. Never. Never the justice for Sam Warrens. They're just so ugly. Why'd they make them look so bad? They could have made them look adorable. Like most other things they've done. Wellwick Worm Territory. Oh, God. That sounds creepy. Ew, I had to defeat one of the sandworms. Why do you have to be so ugly? Okay, uh, it, it, it takes a decent amount of damage, so I might be okay. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I have to look at its face. I don't think I'll ever be okay again. It does this weird sort of uh, sand breath. Oh my god, it does it constantly. 
I seem to be able to only do one spell at a time. This is going to be a take a long time. So after finally impressing him, enough for him to give us what we needed, we're going back to La Nacile. Nos Nacile. Or Costa del Sol, I believe. Costa del Sol. Which is actually kind of cool. We get to go back to the beach as long as there's no giant toads trying to eat me. I'm good. Aww. I love the little witch hat on that chocobo. 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 And we're talking to Weeskate. 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 Hello. Well, friend. Yes, they spoke highly of me. And here is your Onyx brand wine. We did all that for wine. Ah, my favorite. I shall thank the new personally. Now you have but one ingredient left. Fortunately, you will not have to travel to Adred this time to obtain it. I hope I don't have to travel too far to obtain it because you've made me walk quite a, quite a length. It's been annoying. <laughs> it's been annoying, to say the least. So the next place I actually have to go is, is not too far away, actually. It's actually <laughs> quite close, which is nice. Don't have to go too far. But we do have to speak to Ozun Nazun. Uh, the things we do for cheese. So the next ingredient is cheese. I do love cheese. I will do anything for cheese. A good cheese pizza. Now, I will tell you, my favorite cheese pizza is from Sal's. Now, Sal's makes a very good cheese pizza. It is huge. It is not, it is too big for an old human being. But they make these humongous pizzas. And it's bigger than your head. And you just tuck into it. And the cheese and the sauce just melt everywhere. It's amazing. Uh, the, actually, the last time I had it wasn't as amazing as I, as I expected, but it, it is always good. It is always at least a 9 or 10. Like, this, this, is, this is the best pizza I've ever had. Like, when, when I'm a good boy, I, my, 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 my partner and I go, let's, let's go get some sales. But at first, I'd be a good boy. <laughs> I'd be a good boy. Yeah. Okay. I like this house, though. This is a well-designed house. It's in the Hidden Falls docks. Oh, nope. I don't go in there. I would lie and say this place isn't that pretty, but just look at those flying flowers and those giant stalks. That's just, it's really pretty. It's a jungle area, which is kind of cool. It gives me this jungle beach vibes, which I'm not hating. I'm not hating that at all. It definitely reminds me of my first dungeon, which is a good little, little you know, little crossover. So now we're, we're talking to Brave Flocks or Talks, and I think he's actually standing in front of a dungeon, which makes me really excited. Quest for upland or deep in the long stop. Okay. And now we are going to Brave Flock's long stop, which is a dungeon. And I'm super excited. You guys know I love a dungeon. I started with a dungeon today and I'm going to have one in the middle. So I I'm super happy with that. Wow. This dungeon's actually really pretty. Oh, wow. I love pretty dungeons. Oh, good looking. Oh my God. Um, what was that? <laughs> well, this should be exciting. What in the world is that thing? It just flew up into the sky. Oh, we're already starting. We're already starting. Okay. Oh, look, it's a little toucan. Like a little toucan type thing. That's so adorable. And so, some of those lemurs. We got two cans and lemurs. Very foresty, uh, jungly, and very beautiful. I like this area. Why can't this be an actual area instead of just a dungeon? <laughs> so pretty. So we're now going to talk to the Goblin Pathfinder, who hopefully will help us through this dungeon because it's actually it's actually quite large. And, oh, you guys, you guys shouldn't have started without me. I, I could I couldn't hear you from over there. You know, everyone just ignores where the healer is. They don't care. Healer doesn't matter. I see how it is. I don't matter, you guys. <laughs> now it's fine. I just have to basically spam heal until he's back up to normal <laughs> Which could be a while. Okay, so our first boss is here. And we have to deal with the great yellow pelican. I don't know why they called it a great yellow pelican. I mean, that's an actual bird, but it, it kind of doesn't look anything like a pelican. 
<laughs> like at all? Does it matter? Probably not. Looks kind of cool though. It does look kind of cool. And I am spam healing at this point because it is doing way too much damage. Why is it doing so much damage? Oh my god, okay, so I'm, go I'm gonna have to do this. Oh thank god, okay, I got to do it again. I'm removing all the bleeding asp aspects of this. This is a hard battle! Oh my god, help! <laughs> Spam those heals! Spam those freaking heals! Okay, so I've realized they have poison attacks that actually drains his health. So I need to get the poisons away as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Because the poisons are really making it hard for me to heal. And because I have to keep healing constantly. This is actually a difficult battle and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> We're actually onto our next box, which is an Inferno Drake. And uh, it looks... Like kind of like one of the lizards I saw in the in the these. We are currently on our second boss, which is the Inferno Drake, and it kind of looks like one of the bosses, or I should say, little guys that I saw in um, the sands, the the giant desert area. I must admit, it's a little scary, a little scary, but it's only a, a small little monster compared to the giant flying thing that's currently around us right now. I don't know where it is. We haven't seen it since, but. I'm not really finding this one as hard at the start as the other one was. Like, the other battle was ridiculous. It had poisons upon poisons that could stack, and it made it really hard for me to heal. This one, not so much. We almost killed it, and it's actually, again, it's not as hard as the first boss, but it definitely has some new mechanics. It has a, a cyclone that's made of fire, it brings in adds, blazing spikes, I have to watch out for these things as a healer, especially because I don't want them to be hindering the healing that I could be doing. So it's it's a lot to think of at, at all at once, but it's definitely not as hard as the first one with poisons. We just had our first wipe, and that's my, my first wipe ever where we all died. And uh, it was hard because they did the tank definitely pulled a bit too much, and uh, I, I, I couldn't heal that much. I honestly could not heal that much. So I, I don't know if they knew that, but... Uh, Hopefully we don't do that again. <laughs> Hopefully, because that was crazy. Way too crazy. Way too dangerous. We're onto the next boss already, and it's a giant, like, fit, uh, like I think it's a gecko? I'm not too sure. It's kind of a frog and a gecko put together, but it is called Hellbender, which is kind of a weird name for a frog gecko, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's just a gecko with lots of eyes. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's an ugly kind of creature that wants to kill us. So I guess it's from hell. This so far has been the easiest fight we've done so far. It's, it's honestly, yes, I've had to heal him quite a lot. Like, cause it does a lot of damage, but doesn't seem to have as, as many mechanics. A lot of damage, not many mechanics. I think that's what the comment is for this one. Oh my God. Oh my god, this thing just flew down and killed it! Okay, the battle did get harder. We now have to kill two bosses. We now have to kill two bosses at once. Oh no! So the Alatar just flew down and killed the Gecko. I was wondering, I thought this might have been the final boss, but supposedly it wasn't. And it just, yeah, Alatar just takes to the skies after eating a giant Gecko and trying to murder us. Okay, let's go kill it. And here we are into the final boss, the Avatar. Now, he, he has giant eggs that are broken up and uh, he is j very scary. He killed a gecko and now he's come to kill us. And I imagine this fight's gonna be very hard because uh, look at him. Look at that monster. If you can tell me this uh, battle is gonna be easy, then you was a liar. He was a liar, sir. But I, I really hope it isn't that hard, <laughs> because after the stress we've been put through with all the other b bosses, I just hope it's just as hard. I'm having a big issue because the, the tank keeps standing in the way of his spells that poison him. So I have to do poison and heal, and it's just, it's, it's a lot. I wish the tank would get out of the way. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Oh, he was interrupted. That's oh, he's paralyzed. Thank God, because that would have been so annoying to have it happen again. 
this boss is not letting us down, not letting us live very easily. I mean, it's throwing poison at each one of us. It's also throwing poison at the tank because he's not getting out of the freaking way. And it's 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 just it's not letting up. It's honestly not letting up. It's instantly poisoning one after the other. Now it's my turn to get poisoned, and I have to heal myself quickly, otherwise I die, and then we're screwed. Ayata is really hard. I've got to admit, he's really hard. I am struggling, struggling to heal everyone properly. It attacked me twice with a poison attack, and I had to avoid two poisons and still heal myself. Otherwise, I would have died. It, it really tests your skills as a healer, and I'm just lucky that I've done healing before. Yes, it's not in this game. Of course not. It's World of Warcraft, and I've had to, like, react quickly. Yeah, and yeah, it's a bit of tab targeting, just like this one is, but uh, this one has a little bit of aspects of moving out of the way, which the, the older, well, uh, like the newer parts of World of Warcraft have that. And thank God we have gotten to the end of this battle because honestly, so hard. I cannot imagine this in like mythic or a, a, a heroic version. It would be a nightmare. We just finished the dungeon of the Brave, uh, Brave Locks Long Step. And honestly, it was cool. It was a really hard dungeon. I loved the look of it. It is my favorite. And uh, it seems to be doing that. Every dungeon keeps getting better and better. The mana was so cool. And this one was just so much better. I was, I was in shock. I'm really happy with it. And we have hit level 38, which is also really cool. We are now traveling to Wineport, which is actually uh, on the opposite um, end of this area because it's like two islands and you have to use a skipper to get from one island to the other. And this side was where the dungeon was, but we are heading into this wine port. I'm guessing to give away some nice food. We have some food, some cheese, some wine. We're all ready to go. We're now doing small little things inside the city that are supposed to help overall. I mean, this looks like a giant vineyard to me, which I think is really cool. It makes sense why it's called Wine Point. I mean, I mean if you're going to name something after, why not call it Wine Port? If, <laughs> wine Port. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, the alcohol pun there too. But we had to talk to two people about the, the, what, the vines and the wine, and you know, that's all we're doing here. We're just talking about wine, which is probably the most the boring part of this entire story. Wine. Wine, wine, wine. And now I'm going to whine, whine, whine about this part! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Though I'm, it's just, it, it's not the most exciting part of the story, I will say that. And now we are returning to the skipper, actually. Or at least the little part near the skipper. There's like a little village area near the skipper. And we have to return there after talking about wine. Wine, wine, wine. And now I don't want a glass of wine. I want anything but a glass of wine. But g give, me, give me a glass of orange juice. Actually, that would be really nice. Can I have a glass of orange juice, people? Hello, humans. Humans around me. There are no humans around me. Voices. Voices in my head. Could you please get me a glass of wine? <laughs> no. Some orange juice. I like that this ha this is a, like a house and it's just made out of like palm leaves. Look at all these palm leaves. Look at all the palm leaves. Lots of wooden palm leaves. Oh, oh, oh hello. Hello, dressed. You look very uh, frightened. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, I have some wine for you. See, look, look, nice wine. Some pretty wine. Oh my God, look at that. Wine? I didn't ask this. Who said you? I mean, all I was trying to do is give him a drink. You don't have to be terrified. Can't, can't, can't sleep. They won't, they won't let me sleep. The midges, the bruising keeps me awake. I'm not, I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I don't want to fight. Please make the buzzing stop. Make the midges go away. So he's crazy. Okay. So I had to slay dong, uh, dung, dong. <laughs> I had to slay dung midges, uh, midge swarms, which are supposed to be nearby. Oh, they're right over there. Okay. And honestly, dude, dude, you should just, just, just move. <laughs> just move. If you don't like things that make noise, probably shouldn't live in a jungle. Just saying. Don't like it, move. <laughs> I'm so mean, but it's so true though. It's so true, you know. If you don't like the sounds of midges, you probably should move. I mean, there's heaps of them. It's gonna be heaps of bugs in a in a jungle, and meowing creatures and barking creatures. Just heaps of annoying creatures. I do find it slightly funny that Dress thinks if I kill just you know about five swarms of midges, dung midges, that all the sounds will go away. Uh, that's not going to happen. Maybe he's going to send me out to kill more things. Like, he's going to send me over there to kill something. And 
Send me over there to kill those giant rock creatures and make them all stop making noises so I can sleep. I don't know. He's going crazy. Oh god, there's more giant toads. Ugh, why do there have to be more giant toads? Doesn't anyone know that giant toads aren't loved? Nobody loves the giant toads. Okay, so I've got to collect some palm wine, which I'm not too sure. Oh, there's some palm wine. Randomly, it, it looks like it's just a bulb. It looks like a plant bulb. Like a seed of some sort. I, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, but I'm, I'm sure it makes sense to other people. I don't know. It looks like a seed that's growing. Maybe inside is the wine, like the juices. He grew juicy wine. He grew juicy wine. Oh, now I want some juicy wine. Some juicy wine. You know, wine with a big ass. It's juicy. With two C's. I just thought, it's thick with two C's. You know, the really, really thick wine. Ooh, we like that thick wine. So now I have to deliver the, the wine back to the wine people. The people who liked all the wine and couldn't talk talking about wine. And wine, 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 wine. Uh, and now we have to deliver it back to them. Because Dress is too busy trying to sleep. After all that noise that I, I was making killing all those midges. I'm a terrible person, obviously. Just the worst. I'm the worst kind of person. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, I killed some of the midge with swarms for him. Th that's enough. Enough for me, at least. So I've randomly found a, a uh, like a mini boss, I guess you could say, out in the world, or a world boss. I'm not too sure what you'd call it. But uh, I found it because someone was randomly attacking it. I, when I first saw it, I thought, no, I'm not going to attack it alone. But this person came around and I thought, you know what, I'm going to help them out. I'm actually going to help them kill it because I would do the same if, uh, I would expect the same if someone walked up and just stared. I'd be like, hey, you is bad. I don't like you. <laughs> but no, and we can work together as a community. I mean, that's the important thing with world quests, or world events, I should say. It, it just really helps if we work together. Like this person's helping too. We now have we now have three people helping. That person's running straight past this, but maybe they've done it before. I hope they have, because they just left us to do this all by ourselves. You know, they're bad people. <laughs> no. I do like world events where we all work together as a community. It really feels kinda cool. There we go. We did it! Yay! And you know what? I don't mind helping someone out. Oh wow. Oh wow, he has a flying beast. Okay. Okay, well, you're cooler than I, I suppose. He's level 31 and I'm level 38 and I still don't have a flying mount or a moving mount at all. I kind of feel stupid. I really do. Oh, there's another big bat boss guy. Let's go do it! Bah. <laughs> I just keep burping. I is a bad burper. I has the gassies. I had the gassy bassies. Well, it's, you know. We're gonna hand over the grape leaf and hopefully this helps. Here's some grape leaf. It's it's just a leaf, isn't it? You chose it it's because it was so pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the Joggernaut to the north, south, east, west, whatever. <laughs> but I didn't see any grapevines. Hopefully this this will help them find the perfect wine. Because obviously that's the part, most important part of this story. Because the mass figure is no longer important, obviously. <sighs> <laughs> I will say, doing the uh, kind of quest boss are actually getting a bit less and less challenging as it goes along. Maybe I'm learning my powers, I'm not too sure. Sorry, abilities. But uh, it just seems like I'm not finding as much difficulty with them now. And I don't know, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Is that seven hells? A uh, 1540 Sir Patches? Even I know how rare that is. So basically, I've just given him wine, and hopefully the, he will help me in the future of the story, because honestly, that was very hard wine to get. Ugh. Sometimes. Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Why I even bother. If all I'm going to be doing is getting wine for people. Oh. In saying that, I did hit level 39. Oh, and I got, oh, I got a Gabu Sprouting. Oh my god. I got a new pet. Oh my god, look at him! Look at him run! Oh my god, he's so adorable! I love this. He's so cute when he runs, he's like, ah! <laughs> so now we gotta talk to the bronze skinned beauty. 
That's that's an interesting name. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. Okay, I, I guess I just have to partake in the feast. Uh, oh, there's some feast over here. Some food. It seems I'm just celebrating at this point. Which I'm not. I'm, I don't disagree with doing. Why not take into a feast after everything I've done so far? So, after all that, after everything's been said and done, we are now heading to the upper Le Nose. Nosea? Nosea. We're heading into the top upper Le, ne, le Nosea, which is this way. Yay! I decided to teleport to Wineport because it was probably the easiest thing to do. Even though it costs a little bit of money, I earn a lot more money than, <laughs> than really is needed. So I thought it was just the best idea. I can hear a little tapping sound because <laughs> he's running. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and all I hear is a tap, 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 running after me. It's scary as hell. <laughs> I'm afraid he's going to like eat me. I want to eat my master. Oh well, if he does, at least it'll be a cute death. The beauty of Upper La Nasia. Okay, so it's Onis? Onis. Kind of reminds me of Onis, um, it's like demon, I believe? An Oni is a demon, or is that a djinn? Oh, I'm not too sure. I think Oni is a demon as well. Just different, um, djinn is different, uh, culture. Either way, demons, bad. Demons are very bad. Uh, angels, good. Always angels, good. And I have the perfect outfit for when I need to wear an angel outfit. Oh. My. Beautiful. It's just... What is this? It's ruins, but it's beautiful. Oh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to go over here somehow. But, um... I was so distracted by the beauty of this place. Oh, it's a baby raptor. Aww. How do I get up there? How do I get inside the, uh, the city? Oh, God. It's going to take me a while. We found ourselves in Upper Le Nasia, And currently, I just had to whistle in three areas. I'm not entirely sure why I had to whistle in three areas, but I did. Uh, I, I believe it was supposed to be a signifier, but I don't think anyone would hear me from like two seconds away because of how loud the water is. So I don't know. Uh, may maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter at all. Maybe, maybe what I'm doing doesn't matter. We're all going to die. It is now time for us to find the Lord of Crags. Examine the beast man, uh, Atherite. Atherite? Etherite? We got to find the Lord of Crags. Oh, it's Myrodosh. Myrodosh. Myrodosh, which is level 50. I imagine the max level if you don't pay is level 50, and then you have to pay to get a level 60, which... Okay. <laughs> okay. Which is going to be interesting. <laughs> I have to pay for a month's subscription just to get to level 60. I don't mind it. I, I mean, it's a lot better than, you know, what World of Warcraft does, but... Hey, it would be cool if they had made both theirs free to play and then a subscription base because I don't understand why um, you have to pay for the game and do a subscription. It's 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 baffled me. It honestly baffles me. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we're doing another giant boss one. We did the dragon with Ifrit and now we're doing another one. I'm I'm really excited. It's 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 like the bowl of embers except this time we've touched the gem and we've been transported to something new. Karen Coldbloods. Oh. Okay. Why, why are they carrying? What are they scared of? Who are they scared of? All dwellers must leave. All dwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear not him. him. His fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear, hear, horde dweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held on account of breaking the cover covenant. You shall be first to face judgment. Then Linda Laninda. And her Earthbreakers, liars, betrayers, and Earthbreakers! I don't know what they did, but we're about to find out. Lord of Crags. Oh god. What's coming? Oh my ugly god. Well, oh their ugly god, because it's their god that's ugly. But damn, the Lord of Crags is, um, not good looking. I don't know how I'm going to defeat him. I hopefully have other people to help me out. So this guy is the Titan, the Titan we've heard so much about, and we're going to have to deal with him. And by deal with him, I mean murder him. Oh god, 
He's already got an AoE that just hits us all, which is not going to be fun for me to deal with. But hopefully I can uh, heal this battle at least half decently. I have to admit this bad guy is really hard to defeat. Like, I, I, I don't know what to do with most of these attacks, unfortunately. It's, it's, it seems that I can't defend against a lot of the AoE stuff, so I just have to keep healing and hope for the best at this point. He does uh, a half a dozen AoE attacks, and unfortunately I only have one AoE heal, and it's not doing enough to defend me, so I, I really, I'm really not sure what to do. I just have to heal the best I can. And is he, he is defeated, but with a lot of hard work. My god, that was so hard. He had so many AoEs and so many ways of knocking you off the platform. He did so much damage. That is the hardest battle I've ever had to face, and it, it was not fun. <laughs> we, we wiped. We did wipe the first time. The second time, we didn't, and I, I'm happy for that. I'm actually quite proud. I, I was quite proud. But we finally get a third gem. So it's all worth it! It's all worth it because we got our third gem! Yay! <laughs> Oh, that stress, though. The stress of a healer. I don't think you guys understand. If you're not a healer, you don't understand the stress. Lord of Crag? Hello? I am Dumbledore, and I am the praiser of Lord of Crag. If you have not seen the Lord of Crag, you have not lived. Oh, it's the Salamander. That makes sense. The thing that we fought in the, uh, in, in, in the jungle uh, dungeon. It was a Salamander. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a gecko. I thought it was a gecko. It was a salamander. Well, that's really cute. I feel like I'm the professor from Futurama. Good news, everyone. We're about to go on an adventure. I can't really do his voice, but oh well. <laughs> you know what I mean. But we're back in Linza Liminza, and we're talking to the Storm Commander. Oh, that's very triumphant music. It's good to hear. Thank you for coming, friendly. World of Triumph reached, reached me some while ago, but I am pleased how the person you've confirmed. First Ifrit, and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievement, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. I mean, she's she's very she's very nice, very kind. Oh, she's just commending me, you know, just making me feel so good. And the semi regards the scorns of the Seven Dawn. Oh, well, I certainly will. I'm guessing I have to go back there very soon. Uh, at least I have an invitation to get back there. Oh my god, what's happened here? Oh my god! What the hell? <gasps> but, what happened to everyone? And why are they all dead? Who attacked? And why wasn't the outside looking the same? This is insane. What the frick happened? Oh no. Is Minfilia okay? Th this is this is the development in the story. My goodness! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, friends! Oh no! I'm so sorry. The one is glad. Walking one is safe. Oh. I don't look very sad. Jesus Christ! One of your friends just died. Oh, we're about to see what happened, I imagine. It's showing us a vision. Vision. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Oh, that's what she said to me. It's cool how it's like blinking. It's moving as if it was a memory. That's so cool. Louis Soir, do you see? The light, light shines, shines bright in this, this one. one. And in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Let's hope so. What happened? <gasps> Here we go. Something's happening. Oh no! Oh! Who the hell is that? I mean, she looks awesome, but who the hell is she? Robot gun lady. We have come for the one who Livia Sass Junus. Why have they come for me? Bring him forth, or you shall know 
No mercy. <laughs> oh no. This is really sad. Confounded. Poor Tatoru. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. She didn't stay out of sight, unfortunately. I surrender myself. On the condition you spare the innocents. Oh no. Condition? There speaks the supreme desire. Oh great, this is not going to end well. But you would be better served by armor. Okay. All you will. The one you seek is not here. Oh dear. This did not end out well, did it? Oh jeez. So it would seem. It's a good story part though. I'm enjoying the story of this. Well, it looks like she's very unmerciful. Jesus, that is a, a, a scary memory to remember. But now it looks like we're going to have to be on a rescue mission, which is uh, not exactly my expertise. <laughs> It looks like after the attack, I'm going to have to go to Eastern Thanalan Thal and go to the uh, Saints Church, the one we went to before when we were trying to figure out what was happening. This time we were going to be seeking refuge and hopefully there'll be others there. I, I'm not too sure, to be honest. It's not looking good. It's not looking very positive. Oh well, I, I mean, I mean, with, with an invasion and murder and slavery, what, what can you really do at this point? We are now going to the sh uh, seek shelter at the Church of Saint Adama Landamna, Ladima, which hopefully they'll be able to help us. I don't know if they will though. Very small church. It seems like we are on a mission of great in danger. It does seem like we have to keep our heads down though, because they know that who I am and they know what I've done, but they don't know what I've looked like. Of course, every character looks different, so maybe that's why. But they are after me, and it looks like they'll do any means necessary to get me. I don't know why they want me, though. <laughs> what have I done? Maybe they want the crystals that I possess, those the, the gems? I don't know. Or maybe they want me to be one of them. I'm not too sure, but hey. Hey, if they want me to be one of them, I'm more than happy to. We've gotten the tools, and now we just have to give the Hollow Lodge to Alund, which is just outside. And I think believe they're looking at a dead body of some sort. Yeah, they're looking at a dead body, which is kind of gross. But hey, each to their own. That's what they do. Good morrow to you, sir. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Uh, sure. Um, I mean, this isn't for them, but uh, here you go. Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say it measures the passing of time? <laughs> it's a clock! <laughs> <laughs> if it was a clock, that'd be hilarious. Oh, I found a clock. It belonged to the deceased. Oh my! You don't suppose the owner might have been a Galerian spy? It may behoove to us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. Maybe, maybe he was evil. Who cares? He's dead now. Now we just bury him and respect his body. I will say, I do like the fact that I've gotten used to all the teleporting stuff, and I've gotten used to where what I have to do, how much it's going to cost. It's just. It's now just a thing of uh, fast travel, which is kind of nice, especially because at the start it's it was very hard to move around, and fast travel was just not 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 much. It didn't exist enough <laughs> to, to 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 kind of go with my little rambling here. It wasn't enough, and I, I felt like at the start I was walking way too much, and now I figured out a way of not having to do that. I do like that there was a giant massacre in a building nearby, and no one in this city, this little town or city, seemed to even notice. It just happened. And now I'm putting bodies in a carriage to take away. I just... How did no one notice? How did no one notice? So now we are returning the body of Noxia, uh, the plant girl, unfortunately. Um, she has, she's dead, which is really sad. But we want to return her body to her people. So that they're able to do pay respects and, you know, bury where it where they want to and make all the decisions. Because... It's it's not my decision to make of what happens to Nox and Noraxia uh, and uh, 
hopefully she's in a better place because she 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 did something beautiful and uh you know protected me in a way so friendly respects her and believes that she'll be in heaven or whatever plant heaven uh you know where there are only vegans who look after them okay so we're going to be talking to comments here about it this one is, a, is surprised to see walking one in little stosis. How could these ones assist you? And now we're going to have to show them a corpse, which is great, because they seem so innocent. Oh no. Now I have to tell them the story about how their friend died. Oh, This is so sad. Oh no. This is all very sad. Why is that to be so sad? Why did so many had to die? Now I have to explain what happened to her. About the murder and the destruction. Ah, oh, explain everything to this once. To this one at once. She's very outraged. And so she should be. Her people are being killed. Without much of an explanation. <sighs> You're being watched. Imperial Fontiris. Is he a big bad guy or just a simple bad guy? I mean, he's not that scary, to be honest. <laughs> if you were going for scary, you honestly failed. I will tell you that now. Wait, Joseph Spiritus. I swear Joseph was in the dungeon with me when we were killing the Titan. Oh, it's it's so weird to see Joseph in the real world. That is so cool. Well, uh, thank you, Joseph. I, I don't know what happened there. It looked like they kind of auto-attacked and then went back to the where they were. That's so weird. But hey, I, I, I will take any help that I can get, and Joseph was more than willing to help. Ah. Huh. I really like the community in uh, Final Fantasy. There's just so many nice people. It's so weird compared to World of Warcraft. Like, people are so toxic in World of Warcraft, but in, in Final Fantasy, people have been really nice. Now we are going to North Shroud in, uh, in Gridania, and we are going to talk to another person to let them know what's happening. We have found a weapon on the person who is looking after me. You know, the person who was spying on me had a beautiful weapon. And uh, I have to tell people. And we're back to one of the most beautiful places in Gridania. Look at it, it's so pretty. Oh my god, I love coming here. I really do. It's one of my favorite places to come to now. Just just all over, it's just so beautiful. Look at these flower pots. If I could do this in Minecraft, I'd be so happy. Just little flower pots. Ah, oh, I want some flower pots now. Hello, Vortfurt, the Serpent Commander. Hello! I've come in search of Vortfurt, that met, well met. Uh, yeah, I've come sort of here, so if, if you could tell me what's going on, the final flight of the Enterprise, I do indeed remember that day. I hope he's able to tell me something actually important, because I am completely lost on what's supposed to be happening here. Okay. Oh, we have a new quest, and... <gasps> level 40! We did it! Yes, we did it! We made it to level 40! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh my god, we only have like 20 levels left. We're already past the halfway point. I mean, it's 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 on like Donkey Kong now. We we are level forty. Oh my God, guys! Well, 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 guys, we have come to the end. That's right, we've come to the end of the episode. I hope that you've enjoyed. We have come to the end of Final Fantasy Online, level one to level sixty. I unfortunately did have it uh, go corrupted. We did have to re-upload. I decided to re-upload it in sections, which I do with most of my things. And I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope you have. And if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Don't forget to eat the spaghetti. And I will see you in the next series or the next episode, depending on what you want to do. Because it is up to you. <laughs> anyway, guys, bye!